One curiosity about fishing is how often lures designed to be fished a certain way often can be slightly modified to perform superbly in situations seemingly far removed from the circumstances at hand. Let's have a look at what trickery editor-in-chief Doug Stangy has up his sleeve to catch large mouths on the water. You know, I love to fish skirted jigs for large mouths, and I think it's probably the best big bass bait of all time. And one thing that Berkeley has done in the last year is made an incredible number of introductions on the large end of the scale in the power bait lineup and the max scent lineup. And so that's what we want to talk about today. I'll show you what I caught that one on right there. Uh, pretty unusual trailer, and there's a number of them. We're going to talk about it as we go. Good start to the day right there. Beautiful fish. Back we go. There we go, brother. Wah! Got a face full there. So here's your skirted jig, and this is what's called a shaky snake. And you notice how flexible that tail is right there? And this actually starts off as a seven inch straight worm right there that but again the key thing is how flexible this is it's got incredible action on the in the water like that so I've got it trimmed back to about oh five inches probably right there and I've got go working for me that uh, slinky tail and when you just reel it straight through the water it's got a really beautiful vibrating action and then whatever you do with the rod tip it's just, oh, just everywhere it's one of the most uh, uh, enticing I guess you'd have to say things that you would ever look at in the water and dressed on the back of the jig like that, it's a potent operation. But there's more too. We'll talk about it as we go on. Fishing weed edge today. See if we can't get us some big fish. That was a nice one though, right there. Pretty good weeds right there. There we are. Powerful fish. They got a lot of zip to them today. Beautiful. You, buddy, come here. Of course, end of the summer here, water temperatures are still right up there in the 70s. And uh, that is so beautiful. I'm going to show you when I release this fish, I'll show you the kind of action that this thing has in the water. Slinky time right there. Pretty, feisty. Back we go. All right, have a look at this in the water. Isn't that beautiful? So we're fishing this weed edge here. And you know, per usual, I'm casting up into maybe seven, eight feet of water and the weed edge is down into 12, 14 and bringing that jig through there. So I'm running along, and when I'm running it, it's doing that vibration thing, and then you kill it, and then it's slinking on down to the bottom. With bass, of course, they're the consummate visual predator, so it all starts off, at least, with that vision, with what, what they're looking at. And then as they get in close, of course, vibration plays a factor, too. There's a bunch of them there, aren't there? That's about the fourth one and four casts. Not big, but not bad. Let's talk, uh, let's talk trailers here. I wanna show you some of the options that you've got. So, classic options here. Here's what I'm fishing today. That's the seven inch shaky snake. I've got it trimmed back by about three inches to, to fish on that trailer like that. Beautiful action in the water. That's new on the market today. It's in the power bait lineup. Uh, then the classic one that we've had for a long time, you've had a 12 inch and a 10 inch uh, power worm. And I will often take that power worm and trim it right here too and use that on the back of here and it's got a be beautiful whipping action. So again, that can be a beautiful trailer as well as fish Texas style. Then new on the scene this, this year is an eight and a half inch uh, power worm. So that hasn't been offered before, but that's a beautiful option. Nothing, none of this stuff is too big for bass, even in the North Country. Big lizard, they've introduced an eight inch lizard. And then you've got in the max scent lineup, these are all power bait oriented right here, which means they have, they're taste infused, so fish will bite them and they'll, it won't let go. So the big deal about the max scent lineup 
is that it's both taste infused and it gives off scent to tempt fish to bite. So it brings fish in, tempts them to bite, and once they do bite it, of course they hold on for a long time. So that king kingtail, another great option. All of these options are not too big for bass. I don't care where you're at in the country. So working good today. We'll stay at it. That's a trailer nobody's using. Tremendous action in the water. Well, there's a bunch of them there. And they're liking that trailer, that's for sure. It's a big one here. Oh, how good he's hooked. There we are. Wow. Big fish of this day. This is a horse of a fish right here. Wow. <laughs> Where I fish anyway. Huh, very large head. Look at that. Beautiful, just in a... Exquisite fish, not, but not heavy in the back end. So not really a super heavy fish, but boy, that is a big fish. Look at the mouth on that guy right there. Wow. Ha. That little trailer there, that slinky guy, that is something else in the water. What a way to end the day, right here. Big fish.